What's up, everybody? Um, getting into this episode of GH, Britt has lost her damn mind. First of all, I understand Brad is her friend and she's trying to help him or whatever. But at the end of the day, trying to appeal to not Lucas is so ridiculous. Let me stop calling Amy and not Lucas. Um, it's ridiculous because even by telling him that Julian helped Brad... In my opinion, that should not negate the fact that Brad went along with this cover-up. He started the damn cover-up with Nell. He chose to go along with this, even if Nell manipulated him. It don't matter. He's a grown man who chose to go with it. So, in my opinion, Lucas has every right to continue to be pissed at Brad and still want a divorce. And she's sitting there getting mad at him for his treatment of Brad. He has every right to still be angry with him. Hell yes, he does. Lord knows I would be. Shit, you did what you did. And even I understand Brad had good intentions for what he did, but that doesn't matter. Because his actions caused a lot of pain to a lot of people. You know what I mean? So Lucas has every right to be pissed at him and not want anything to do with him. If Lucas chooses to forgive him, then that's his choice. But to sit there and, and still stay married to him, to me, that's just stupid and ridiculous. That's a hell no for me. There is no way in hell. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Carly come up in a restaurant acting a fool with all that shrieking. Oh, Julian's not going to get away with this. He's not, Carly, hush your mouth. Hush, hush, hush. That's the last thing Sonny needs is for you to come up in there nagging, acting a fool. Like they're doing their best to find Julian. They don't need you shrieking and yelling and fussing and cussing at him. Calm yourself now. Well, she wasn't cussing, but calm yourself now. They're doing everything they can to find him. Um, I'm happy that Carly finally told Sonny and Jason that Nell is Nina's daughter. It's about damn time. They're open and honest with her and they keep her up to date about everything. You know, literally right after it happens. I don't understand why it took Carly this long to tell them. Um, you know, Sonny is sick and tired of hearing that every time there's something going down that he finds out later about his wife, Jax is always in the thick of it. <laughs> like even when they were at the cabin and Carly talked about how Nell fell and stuff like that. And he found out Jax was there and all that. He was not happy. And now to find out that she found out that Nell is Nina's daughter and Jax knows about it. I know he is sick and tired of hearing Jax's name. I know he tired. Like, how come every time his wife is involved in something, Jax is the first one to know about it and not him? Like, that's crazy. But, you know, she's convinced that Jax is not going to tell Nina about it. I'm convinced at this point Jax prefers to keep it a secret, too. I, Jax is pretty much trying to tell Nina to stop searching for her daughter now. Um, Let me tell you something. When Nina finds out, that Nell is her daughter, and she will find out. We know she will. And Jax knew and didn't say nothing to her. That, in my opinion, is going to be the catalyst that sends Nina right back into the waiting arms of Valentine. And that's what Jax was worried about, because when Nina admitted that she forgave Sasha for her lie, he was wondering, so if you forgave Sasha, does that mean you forgive Valentine too? I mean, she admitted that, you know, she understood why he did what he did to spare her, you know, her feelings and stuff. And from that pain and all that. So she sympathized like she understood. And I think that's what Jax is worried about. But I'm like, your lie is really going to push her back into his arms again because she left him for those same reasons, because he always lied to her. And you're doing the exact same thing. Valentine always did lie, cover up. You're no different. You know, she was hoping that Jax would be different from Valentine. That's exactly what she was hoping for. Um, Sonny, I have to admit, Sonny does need to do something about um, Taggart because he just can't keep his ass still. And Carly just feels like, you know what, something got to be done because he's not staying still. We need to keep him in hiding right now. Like, we, we got stuff to figure out. Um... I'm glad Carly knows now about the, you know, Julian's role and, and the whole situation with Wiley and everything else. So I'm glad that they're very transparent with each other. You know, they keep 
honesty in their marriage because I think that's a big part of marriage, honesty and trust. And I'm glad that they now have that. Because if this was like two years ago, three years ago, Sonny wouldn't have told Carly shit. Like he wouldn't have told her nothing about nothing. She would have been in the dark about everything that's going on. Um, Trina, of course, wants to um, investigate the claims of Cyrus. Trina is playing into Cyrus's hands and she doesn't even realize it. Like she pretty much feels that it could be true of what Cyrus is saying. So, of course, she wants Jocelyn to keep her mouth shut about it. Um, but she wants to find out for a fact if her dad is alive. I still feel like Taggart is her, 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 you know, legal father, but I feel like Curtis is definitely her father because look at the way she is like her intuitive, like she's intuitive. She's, you know, determined. She has very good investigative skills. You know, she doesn't back down from anything. She reminds me a lot of Curtis. I'm just saying. Mm -mm -mm. Mama's baby, Papa's maybe, but I feel like that's that's her daddy. He the pappy. I freaking love that scene between Nicholas and Ava. I always do. I I love this that they're entering a real marriage. I love it. Um, Ava was very transparent with Nicholas about Julian's you know shadiness and his crookedness. She was very open and honest with Nicholas. Like she told him everything from the stuff that went down with Wiley and uh, Nell blackmailing him and Ryan blackmailing her. Like she just was open and honest. And she even told Nicholas about Julian's part in the bombing. Um, and of course, Nicholas was pissed because Ava knew about it and didn't immediately tell him. But she explained, you know, she didn't know his role in that immediately. She didn't find out until a little bit later when she put it together. Um... I love that Ava is being, you know, honest with Nicholas and letting her guard down because we all know how Ava is. She builds walls around herself to protect her heart. So I'm glad that she's opening up to Nicholas and they're both admitting to each other that they are in love with each other. I love it. And, you know, he wants to build a future with her. Um, I love their scenes. Like, I feel like Nicholas and Ava can definitely be the new power couple of poor Charles. I freaking love it. Um, I will say Ava has come a long way since when she first came on this show seven years ago. She has come a long way. Like she's still a work in progress, but we finally got a lot more layers out of her over the years. And I love it. And just, you know, Maura West is a gem. Like she's a diamond. Like she's, a, she's amazing at what she does. You know, I, I love it. I love them as a couple. They're my new favorite couple. Um. So anyway, moving on from that, um, this whole Willow Michael situation, I can understand now that the truth is out about Sasha and Chase lying. They need to figure out what this what that means for their marriage, um, because Willow pretty much wants to talk to Chase. And Michael needs to talk to Sasha because they don't want to continue in this marriage if they were manipulated into it. I feel like deep down they know this marriage has become real. I mean, when they first got into it, they were manipulated into getting married and it was pretty much a business deal. You know, all to keep Wiley from, you know, going to Nell and stuff like that. So over time, it became real. And I feel like their feelings for each other is real. And if they really want to be married to each other and they're in love with each other, I say they should stay married. Why give that up? You know what I'm saying? Michael, I don't see Michael going back to Sasha. I don't see it. And besides, I don't think Sasha needs a relationship right now, especially one that contains a child. I think she needs to go to rehab and I think she needs to work on herself, get herself together and, you know, figure out her next her next move after recovery. I don't think she needs to be making romantic plans right now when she almost died. You know what I mean? Like you almost OD. Like now is not the time to worry about a marriage. Um, well, not a marriage, but a relationship. Chase and Willow, I did like them together, but I'm, I'm over it at this point. Like if they choose to get back together, they get back together. If they don't, I'm cool with that, too. I could definitely see Chase with somebody else, maybe him and Sasha, you know, maybe he could help Sasha. But I definitely feel like they were chemistry testing her with Brando before. 
I, I definitely think that's exactly what they were doing. Um, shoot, I wouldn't be surprised if Brando and um, if Brando and uh Sasha got together. But you know what I was thinking? That what if when what's her face Brooklyn come back? What if she and Chase get into a relationship and Chase try to pretend like the child is his, like, you know, to throw Valentine off the scent? That would be interesting. I have a feeling they might go that route, too. Um, I can understand why Michael is still pissed, though, with Sasha uh, and about her lie. Like, I think he he respects the fact that she felt she did what she had to do for him to keep his child, but he doesn't like it because look at all the pain that it cost. Like, they were really hurt by what they thought that the two of them did. So, I could totally understand if he didn't want her back. But I think it's worth the conversation between the two just to see where they stand. You know, especially with Chase and Willow. Um, anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I will see y'all all Monday. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful Friday night, and I will see you all Monday. Have a great weekend. Peace.